Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Wetton Science Revision. In this video we're going to look at how you can calculate the number of moles of a substance and other calculations involving moles such as calculating relative formula mass or mass. So the first thing to think about is what actually is a mole? When we say a mole, what do we mean in chemistry? We don't mean an animal, it's not one of these. A mole is just a word that we use to describe a particular number. So if I say I've got a pair of shoes, you know that means two shoes. If I say um, a trio of desserts in a restaurant, that means three desserts. If I was to say to you a dozen eggs, that just means 12 eggs. It's just a word that we use to describe a number. And a mole is the word we use to describe the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's in standard form because the number not in standard form is this. It's a really big number, it's called the Avogadro's constant um, and it's just a bit of a hassle to have to write that or say that, even saying 6.02 times 10 to the 23 is a bit of a mouthful so we just call it a mole instead. If you know the relative atomic mass of an element, that is the mass of one mole of atoms of that element. So if you were to take one mole of atoms, that is how much, uh, that's the mass that they would have. So carbon has an atomic mass of 12, which means that one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12 grams. The relative atomic mass is 12, so one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12. Lithium has a relative atomic mass of 7, so one mole of lithium atoms would have a mass of 7 grams. So they're the same. And then chlorine, on the periodic table, it's listed as 35.5 for the atomic mass. So one mole of chlorine atoms would have a mass of 35.5 grams. So if you know the relative atomic mass, that tells you the mass of one mole of atoms in grams. Here is a bit of an example question. How many atoms of sodium are there in 23 grams of sodium? Well, if you look on the periodic table, you'll see that the atomic mass of sodium is 23. And if you've got 23 grams of sodium, if they're the same, that means you must have one mole of atoms and that is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. You need to learn that number, what is a mole, that it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Try and memorize that number. So we need to be able to calculate the number of moles of a substance. If I tell you how much I've got of something, what the mass is of my sample, you need to be able to say how many moles of that substance there are. And we do that using this equation. Number of moles is equal to the mass in grams of that substance divided by the MR. That means the relative formula mass, but, and I'm going to use MR for the rest of the video, we could use AR instead. So if, for example, I was talking about aluminium atoms, I wouldn't normally say formula mass, I'd normally say atomic mass, but in this case I'm just going to carry on with MR for the rest of the video because it's simpler. So moles is equal to mass divided by relative formula mass. N equals M over MR. You need to learn that equation. I would learn the shorthand it's one of the ones you need to know. So N equals M over MR, which is moles equals mass divided by formula mass. Let's try a worked example. Calculate the number of moles of lithium atoms in five grams of lithium. So N, number of moles, that's what we're trying to calculate. We need M, which is mass, and we need MR, which is the formula mass. If we look at the periodic table, we can see that lithium's got a relative atomic mass of seven. So we're gonna use the atomic mass. N equals M over MR. N is what we're trying to work out, number of moles. M is the mass, and it's told us in the question that it's five grams. MR is our atomic mass, which we can see on the periodic table is seven. So we do M over MR, five divided by seven gives us an answer of 0 0.7 moles. That means in five grams of lithium, there are 0 0.7 moles of lithium atoms. That means there's 0 0.7 lots of that number at the beginning, that's how many atoms there are. You get one mark for your working out, or one mark for a correct answer. Make sure on these questions you're showing you're working out because you can still get one mark even if you get the answer wrong. Here are some questions to have a go at, some practices for calculating the number of moles. Number one, calculate the number of moles of magnesium atoms in 4.1 grams of magnesium. So it's atoms, we're going to want to use the atomic mass of magnesium. Here's the symbol, I'll leave that up for you. Number two, calculate the number of moles of oxygen molecules. Now notice I didn't say atoms, I said oxygen molecules, which is O2, in 10 grams of oxygen. Here's the symbol for an oxygen atom. 
And finally, number three, calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide molecules, that's CO2, in 3.5 grams of carbon dioxide. Here's the symbol for carbon, and here's the symbol for oxygen. You'll need both of those. Pause the video, have a go at these questions, unpause when you've tried them all. Okay, so we're going to need to use that equation up top, N equals M over MR, that's number of moles equals mass divided by formula mass. Well, in the question it tells us that our mass is 4.1 grams of magnesium, our MR, in this case we're going to use AR, we're going to use the atomic mass, or if it was a compound we'd use the formula mass, that's 24. We can see the atomic mass is 24, so we do mass divided by formula mass, M divided by MR, that's 4.1 divided by 24 which gives us 0.17 moles. So in 4.1 grams of magnesium, there are 0.17 moles of magnesium atoms. For the second one, M, our mass, is 10 grams. Our formula mass is 32. It's not 16 because it's an O2 molecule, so we need two lots of 16, which makes 32. And we're going to do M over MR again, which is 10 divided by 32, which is 0.31 moles. And finally, the mass in this question is 3.5 grams. The formula mass for carbon dioxide is 44, because you've got one carbon, which is 12, and two lots of oxygen, which makes 32, so we've got 44 altogether. We do M over MR, which is 3.5 divided by 44, which gives us 0 0.08 moles. I'm not thinking about significant figures here, I'm just giving you some rough answers, so you can see how this process works. Now we could do something different, so we've just looked at how to calculate the number of moles, but sometimes you might be given the number of moles and the relative formula mass, and they might ask you to calculate the mass. So we need to do a bit of equa equation rearranging here. If N equals M over MR, what we can do is, because MR is on the bottom of the right hand side of the equation, if we take it over to the other side of the equation, across the equal sign, it was a divide before, it will become a times. So if you move something to the other side of the equation, a divide must become a times. So that would mean M would be on its own. We'd have mass M equals N times MR, moles times relative formula mass. We've just rearranged the equation. If you're not sure how to rearrange equations, maybe go away and have a look at that another time. What we need to remember is we need to use this equation, mass equals moles times formula mass. So, calculate the mass of 4 moles of oxygen molecules, O2. So we need to use that equation again. Mass equals moles times formula mass. Well, the formula mass of oxygen, we can work out from our symbol. So the number of moles, it's told us in the question, it's 4. So N is going to be 4. And the MR is going to be 32. Two lots of 16, because we've got O2. So we've got N and we've got MR. We now just need to put it into that equation. M equals N times MR, which is 4 times 32, and that gives us a mass of 128 grams. So we know that 4 moles of oxygen molecules will have a mass of 128 grams. We might also need to calculate relative formula mass. So we'll do these straight after, and then do a practice of all these different skills. So if N equals M over MR, then we could take, just take the MR up, but what we can do is we can swap the N and the MR around because as MR goes up to the other side of the equation and becomes a times, N will come over to the right hand side of the equation and it will become a divide. So it's like we've just swapped something that's on the top of one side of the equation and something that's on the bottom of the other side, which gives us the equation MR is equal to M divided by N. So that's relative formula mass is equal to mass divided by number of moles. So it's the same equation, we've just rearranged it. You don't necessarily need to learn three equations, you just need to learn one and then learn how to rearrange that equation. So if we had three moles of atoms of an unknown element Y, we've not told you what it is, and that has a mass of 33 grams, we need to calculate the relative atomic mass of element Y. Okay, so we need to use that equation, 
MR equals M over N. Well, mass M is 33. It's told us that, 33 grams. N, number of moles. Well, it says there's three moles in the question. So we've got M and we've got N. So we can work out MR. We do M divided by N. So we do 33 divided by 3. And that gives us an answer of 11. Now, if we were to look on the periodic table, we could also identify that element. What has a relative atomic mass of 11? Boron. So we can actually identify the element. These practice questions cover all three of those skills. Calculating the number of moles, calculating the mass of substance, and calculating the relative formula mass. So for the first one, calculate the number of moles of helium atoms in 17.3 grams of helium. That would be a two mark question in an exam. Here's your symbol for helium. Number two, calculate the number of moles, so again number of moles, of nitrogen molecules, which is N2, in 45.8 grams of nitrogen. Here's your symbol for nitrogen. Now these two are slightly different. We've done number of moles. Now we're going to think about calculating the mass given the number of moles and the relative formula mass. So five moles of water molecules, which is H2O. Here's your symbol for H and here's your symbol for O. And number four, a sample of two moles of an unknown compound Z has a mass of 196 grams. Calculate its relative formula mass. Here are the equations you're going to need. I'm not going to ask you to rearrange them in this video because that's not what this video is about. But you might want to practice rearranging this equation another time. You've got your three equations. Pause the video. Have a go. And unpause when you've tried it. Okay, so for the first one, we're just using our standard equation, N equals M over MR, because we're trying to calculate N, the number of moles. Well, M is 17.3. Relative formula mass, or in this case, relative atomic mass, is 4. 17.3 divided by 4 is 4.3 moles. Second question is going to use the same equation. We're trying to work out number of moles, so we want N. We're going to do M over MR. Now, M in this case, mass is 45.8 grams number of moles, sorry, the relative formula mass is 28 because it's N2, so it's two lots of 14 because you've got two nitrogen atoms. And that gives us an answer of 1.64 moles. The third one, we want to calculate mass, so we need to use M equals N times MR because we're trying to find out mass, so we want mass to be on its own. N, number of moles, is 5. And the relative formula mass of water is 18. You might actually get an extra mark for doing that. So you might make this into a three mark question. Five times 18 is 90 grams. So that could be a three mark question if they give you a mark for working out the relative formula mass of water. And the last one, we need to calculate relative formula mass. So we need to use MR equals M divided by N. So we know that M mass is 196. And we know the number of moles N is 2. So we do 196 divided by 2, and that will give us our relative formula mass, and that is 98. They might then give you a follow-up question and get you to try and identify the compound if they give you some more information. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please let me know in the comments below if there's a particular topic you want me to cover in another video, but please let me know if there's a particular topic that you're struggling with.